got it a church sale for a dollar, took an offer of 650. She paid $2 for it and sold it for $750. Did you hear me? Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for big profits. I'm gonna talk to you about my Facebook group members and bolos they found. A bolo is an item to be on the lookout for. Um, are you going to find these items? I don't know, but if you don't know about them, you definitely won't. So I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It says, share your best September Bolo. And we're going to get started here. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So the first one says, I picked up these Tevcovis, Tev, or t -Covis? <laughs> Genuine Vamp Lizard Boots. Vamp? What's a vamp? Uh, at a local thrift store for $13.99. Sold same day as listed. Accepted an offer of $160. This is what they look like. Paid $5 from a yard sale. Sold for $100 plus shipping. It says new open box Rock Band 3 Nintendo Wii wireless Fender Stratocaster guitar. I don't know about you guys. Like if it's new in the box or it's in the box... Not too bad to ship, but one time, like, I think I had to ship one of these with my own box. Not fun. Let me know if you guys sell those guitars. I've heard a lot of people say they're a bolo, but I really think it depends on which one you find. If anybody has any feedback, let me know down in the comments. Paid $10 at a thrift shop. Sold for $285. Profit $245 with local pickup. There were two broken tips and a chip on the clock tower. Others listed at $1,200 without chips, and some were signed. This one was not signed. I added a ton of photos and a video in the listing. Sold on a seven-day auction. Picked up by buyer. Good deal. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Now that, <laughs> I can see why you did local pickup, because there is no way you're shipping that without the original box. Exclusive, Disney, Jim Shore, WDW Park, Cinderella Castle. Walt Disney World. The owner of the local antique mall where I have a booth asked if I could post this for him on my eBay and we would split the profits. It's a cigar press. There's plenty of others listed in several sold comps. I listed this one pretty much in the middle with shipping. It had, um, I'm sorry, it sold almost instantly for my full asking price of $44.57 plus shipping. It cost me zero. I've included more pics than just the title page shot in the comments. And this is what it looks like. Wooden cigar mold press for 10 cigars. Stamped etched 40 on end vintage. Picked up this Webkin signature German Shepherd on a quickie Benz trip. I am not supposed to be sourcing, but told myself I would just go and look. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you didn't just look, but hey, it paid off. I spotted this gold W and knew I was in the money. Sold in two weeks to a buyer in the UK. Paid $1.25. Sold for full asking price of $120. Buyers all in for $168 with shipping. And it is a Webkin's German Shepherd. Uh, picked this mount up at a yard sale for $50 and sold it for $300 plus shipping. It's a vintage, large, taxidermy, evil, wild, boar, pig, hog. <laughs> so it's taxidermy. And correct me if I'm wrong. Are there some states that you can't sell taxidermy or am I wrong? I might be wrong. Let me know down in the comments. I found this at a thrift store and paid $2.99 for it. It sold in about two weeks for $52.25. It is a Nick Jr., Yabba Gabba Gabba Musical Boombox Theater Light Up Characters 2008 Tested. That's what it looks like. Got it a church sale for a dollar. Took an offer of 650 It's so close to September. I did mail it in September, so that counts. It's a Douglas Rare Large Broderick Husky Plush 28 Inches Relaxing Pose Signature Required. And this is what it looks like. 
Holidays are coming and that means people are starting to plan for family gatherings. Now is the time to list items related to cooking and baking. That is a great tip. I paid 25 at a yard sale for this turkey roaster. Took some work to clean and shine it, but got paid handsomely for my effort. It sold in less than 24 hours for full asking price of $199.99. Yes, it is a vintage Magnolite Wagner Ware Mag Pro Turkey Roaster Pan. And you know who sells these all the time is Mindful Recycle Terry. If you guys aren't following her YouTube channel, here it is. Go check her out. She is absolutely incredible and she is always finding big money bolos. 18 hours after the turkey roaster sold, so did the roaster. This one cost me seven at a yard sale and sold for $82.99 plus sh shipping. These Magnolite roasters always do better if you clean and shine them. Well, Mr. Jersey Shore Thrifter. <laughs> this gal ain't cleaning nothing. <laughs> so give us some tips down in the comment, Jerry, and let us know how you clean and shine your roasters. All right, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member Stellar Seller Sam, and this is her YouTube channel. And she said, Courtney is right. If you can't find another item like the one you have, always price it high. Bought this James Dean t-shirt at Goodwill for $1.50, not in great condition. I forgot I even had it. My typical sale on eBay had ended in, span, in a span of two hours, took place before my new sale began. I woke up to the t-shirt being sold for full price of $112. It is a James Dean Rebel Without a Cause vintage t-shirt. And this is what it looks like. Speaking of t-shirts, this one also comes from Jersey Shore Thrifter. My best t-shirt sale to date. Paid zero for the shirt. It was in a box of vintage single stitch 1980s, 90s era concert shirts I scored at a garage clean out. Free. Took several months to sell, but got $84.99 plus shipping. It is Stone Pony 20th Anniversary Single Stitch Tee Springsteen. This is what it looks like. Found this tan Hello Kitty at the Benz. Paid a dollar or less. I listed it as an auction for $90 for seven days. Had 20 watchers, but no bidders. Relisted it immediately at a buy it now for $135 and sold within 24 hours for full asking price. Um... But what I'm seeing here is it looks like she sold it on Mercari for $135. So she tried for $90 on eBay. It did not sell. Put it on Mercari for $135 and sold within 24 hours. If you are not selling on Mercari and you sell plush, I highly recommend Mercari for plush. Um, especially Build-A-Bear. There's something about the Build-A-Bear that they seem to do better on Mercari in some instances. I have a video about it. It looks like this. Uh, I feel like maybe just the items are more saturated on eBay. Maybe that's it. Or the people that shop on Mercari are more in, uh, I don't know, Build-A-Bear, like that phase of their life. Maybe it's an age thing. I have no idea, but people that shop on Mercari, they don't all shop on eBay. So it's a different market. Same with Poshmark. So if you're interested in trying Mercari, selling or buying, same with Poshmark, I do have referral links down below. So if you use my referral link for Mercari, you're gonna get $10 to shop when you join. You're gonna get another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. That's 30 bucks in your pocket. Poshmark, you get 10 bucks to buy. <laughs> so not as good, but still money is money, right? And then I always say buy something to resell and then you're making even more money. Alrighty, let's go on to the next one. I bought this Choco, 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 <laughs> Choco cat at the Goodwill store for $2.99. Sold him for asking price of $100. Buyer paid shipping after about three weeks. It is a Sanrio um, stuffed animal. Sorry, it's really small. White bunny. It's holding a white bunny lovey. Huh? So it's a big cat holding a bunny and it sold for a hundred. And this is what it looks like. 
This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Piece of Scrap. This is her YouTube channel. She does a lot of clothing and accessories, but also does hard goods. So check her out. Piece of Scrap on YouTube paid $3.75 at the Goodwill, sold for full asking price of $65 plus shipping on Poshmark. And she also has a Facebook page, guys. So check that out as well. And she uh, sold these on Poshmark for $65 and this is what they look like. So Poshmark takes 20%. So she paid 65, or I'm sorry, she sold them for 65. Poshmark took 13. So her net earnings was $52 and her cost of goods was $3.75. So even with that higher um, fee on Poshmark, she still made really good money on these. And by the time you're promoting on eBay, I mean, how many of you are promoting on eBay? How many of you feel like you have to promote on eBay? <laughs> <laughs> to sell your items. Oh my goodness, hands raised, right? I mean, it's like, are you gonna sell anything if you don't promote? I don't know. And then if everybody's promoting, like, are you really even being promoted? Who knows? Let me know what you guys think about promoted listings down in the comments. All right, that should be a good conversation. Everybody check out those comments. Uh, this one comes from YouTube Bolo Buddies member Childhood Finds. This is her YouTube channel. She um, talks about all kinds of things on her channel, but her what sold videos are pretty good because she sells some pretty cool stuff. So check that out. Here is an example of an amazing item. And she got it for $2 at an estate sale. Like, who even finds stuff like this at an estate sale for $2? Like, my estate sales do not have things like this for $2. She said, I didn't even look at the back or inspect when I grabbed it. I had a mighty large surprise when I got home and looked at it. I could have done an auction, but I have always had poor luck with them, so priced it much higher than any solds on WorthPoint and sold it for $750, even with damage. Wow. It is a signed Christian Dior brooch floral with red cabochons, rare read as is. So I don't know what the damage was. I'm looking at it and it looks absolutely stunning. She paid $2 for it and sold it for $750. Did you hear me? <laughs> Look at this brooch, even with damage. Yep, that's incredible. All right, here we go. Our neighbors moved and left almost everything they owned. They told us we could go in and keep everything we wanted. Hmm, those were nice neighbors. We got a ton of awesome stuff. This purse was there. It is a concealed carry purse. I listed it and sold it within two weeks. Something I got for free, total profit. It is a gun tote and mama's concealed carry, hol I'm sorry, holster, crossbody brown leather bucket handbag, $49.80. The next one comes from Piece of Scrap. Uh, let's see. Paid $3.75 at the Goodwill. Accepted a best offer of $124 on eBay. It is a Kobe Bryant Los Angeles Lakers uh, Nike team jersey. But here's the best part. Youth size. Youth size, guys. Still selling for over $100. That is awesome. Hi, Courtney. I sold this How the Grinch Stole Christmas Fred the Reindeer Dog toy from BarkBox for $55, which was my full asking price. I found him and a bunch of other new with tags BarkBox toys at the Goodwill bins. I paid about 30 cents for him. I had him listed a couple months. Be sure to keep your eyes open for BarkBox toys, especially the older ones. Be sure to run comps as some go for quite a bit of money. Also, be aware that BarkBox also produces the Bark toys that are sold at Target. So be sure to do your research. And this sold for $55 on Poshmark. There you go. Poshmark is not just clothing. This watch was part of a large jewelry lot that I purchased from a Goodwill auction. The whole lot was around 30. I've sold several pieces and have recouped my 30. I listed this watch on eBay a few months ago. I don't know if it works, and I had as is untested in the title. I know I could have gotten a lot more if I knew that it worked. It, um, let's see, I had it on Buy It Now for 55, was offered $41.99. I accepted the offer. Buyer was all in for 58, including shipping. 
Sterling, not like Sterling, but Stur, S-T-U, <laughs> let me see if I can spell it for you. S-T-U-H-R-L-I-N-G. I'm not sure really how to say that. Swiss Rainbow Uptown Aussie Extra Large Black Leather Strap Watch Untested As Is. And this is what it looks like. Hi, Courtney. I got this at a thrift store for $3.99. I sold it on auction for $199.99 plus shipping. My eBay store is Fortune 88. It is a Dudley Vacciana, V-A-C-C-I-A-N-N-A, Vaciana, glass plate, two women signed by the artist, 2013. And this is what it looks like. This one comes from Got Junk in Our Trunk. She is on YouTube. She's getting ready to start Whatnot, you guys. So please go follow her on Whatnot. She is a moderator of this group. She helps out so much. Please give her a follow both on YouTube and Whatnot. If you're not on Whatnot, come check it out. I go live all the time. It's so fun. Even if you don't want to buy anything, just sign up, join, come hang out. You don't have to buy anything. It's like a live show, but you're just hanging out, talking in the chat. It's super fun. Um, I do have a referral code down below. If you use that link, it's not a code, it's a link. If you use that link to join Whatnot, you're going to get $15 to shop. That's free money, guys. So join Whatnot and come hang out. And Got Junk in Our Trunk says, Bibles always sell. I purchased this one at a yard sale for a dollar and sold it fast for $32.99 plus shipping on Etsy. The Children's Bible Golden Press Illustrated Hardcover Vintage 1965. All right, you guys, we are going to stop there. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you have a bolo that you would like to share, head on over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It looks like this, and you can share your bolo under the best October bolo post, which if it's not up yet, it will be coming soon. And again, Thank you. Be sure to check out everybody I mentioned in this video. I will link them down in the description. Follow their YouTube channels. Check out their eBay stores. They are Bolo Finders. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, see you on whatnot. Come on over. Come on over. Hey, you remember all that lost footage? All those videos I lost from the Goodwill bins? Like, 18 of them? And I just threw all of that Goodwill bins stuff in my money pile? Guess where I'm selling it? I'm selling it on whatnot. And I did a show the other night. I dumped two big old bagfuls into a tote. A lot of it was toys. So all you toy lovers, um, come on over. Because I'm going to be having shows just like that. Just like that. And I'm having another one soon. So hope to see you. And even, like I said, if you don't want to buy, it'll be super fun to see what I got. Because I looked at the receipt it was May of 2022 that I bought that stuff and it has been sitting in a tote. And I'm like, why am I letting this sit in a tote? I'm going to bring it to whatnot. So I don't even remember what I bought. So it's going to be super fun, uncurated because I'm throwing it in a tote and bringing it straight to you all. All right. So we're going to pull it and sell it, pull it and sell it. All right. Enough about that. Thanks for watching.